Now, if that's a big, broad, deep compression, I'm going to slowly let off. That flush out again. Uh -huh. Where do you, what do you feel when the blood flow rushes back in? Um, it just gets warm. It feels really good. That's always what they report. It's warm and it feels really good. The only time I've ever had it not feel good is just if it was too much pressure, not not good. And occasionally, if you hop off, if you hop off really fast, especially big, broad, deep compressions. Sometimes it's like the tissue recoils, like you If I release, I re release like a hose. You crimp it and flush it out, right? People will come in with ankle problems. I'll go in this, into this in later curriculum. They come in, they have big swollen ankle. What can I do for that? Can I work on this? I mean, swollen, it's like puppy. It's almost like, what do they call that, where it's like you can dent it? So I can't work on this, can I? I, I so you know what I do? Very light. Come up here, and I go, hey, how's this pressure? Look just like I did. And then I go, and what does that do? I don't know the science. I'm telling you that people improve. A lady on the subscription service lives in like Montana. She sent me a picture of her leg and said, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> her leg was swollen. And I went, okay. <laughs> we get into the private Facebook group. We do a Facebook Live. I get a strap, uh, show how to lengthen her calves, how to stretch and mobilize her ankle, uh, show how to use a tennis ball to like put it in her calf and then stack her other foot on top to massage it with some pin and stretch. And I say, listen, whatever's going on with your ankle, uh, I think you need to lay on your back and put your feet up a wall five, ten minutes a day. Totally safe, it's not going to hurt anything. We just need to drain whatever's in there like out. Contact her two weeks later, and how's it going? She's like, oh, it's way better. How many times have I worked on her? <laughs> Teach it. Same stuff. It's the exact same like stuff. The it's the exact same the stuff. Process. And the thing is, I just keep building and building and building and going, guys, there's a better way. Like, it's, it's easier. The thing is, years ago, I couldn't have really done anything. When I tell her to put a feet wall, that's yoga. That's not massage. That's not massage. Can we have people go do that? Um, so, what, so the thing is, it's like, <laughs> like the thing is, I wasn't diagnosing or treating any condition. I went, okay, what's the risk of her putting her legs up a wall? I'm not a medical doctor. Listen, if, listen but, I'm a massage therapist. I don't diagnose or treat stuff. What I would right. do, what if I try? were you, is like put my legs up a wall. Just, that makes sense. I'm bringing stuff out. Mm -hmm. That's what we're, we're doing. Long term, that's where I'm, I'm pushing my edges. How does this feel now compared to this one? Uh, pretty different actually. It feels really good. What what describe like what words would you use to describe this leg compared uh, to this one? It's kind of like mushy. I don't know. Mushy. I feel like it. Uh, That's it. I'm gonna read it. Mushy. <laughs> <laughs> For a better mushy. massage. It's relaxed. <laughs> but it feels more open. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do you guys want to do those? You can use the forearm if you feel like the forearm's a lot of work. You can build up. Whenever you have the bolster, I don't want you to lift them real, real high because that's going to put pressure on the tibia and the fibula, right? We have him down low. He's got some support for his ankle, but I can still put some pressure there. Oh. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you got any questions, go ahead and write uh, down below or in the stream there in the chat. I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions as I can. Yeah, like here, here. I stared at it. It's a little bit Yeah, I didn't think none of that. 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 Yeah, I didn
So when you take a class and you take photos of your class and you post information on social media, you're advertising the fact that you just took a class. Yep. And people go, and people go, yo, what, what was that? Oh, this is class I take. It's just like friendly information. But if they engage with you in conversation, you go, yeah, 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 Digital word of mouth. Oh, yeah, more pressure. Lower or higher? Ooh. Say that again? Lower or higher? Found it. Uh, maybe a little higher? Yeah. And he can take a lot of pressure because I was. Yeah. And it's okay. eating in on It feels good to the outside, too. Oh, that's um, really good. And when you take yeah. the carpal yeah, tunnel class, really the extremities. Carpal tunnel. Yeah, it doesn't feel like as much pressure. Like when the first student came in and said, Yeah, this guy's going to have to assert your next day with your That one feels really good. The other way, the other way. I see a lot of it in massage therapists. They'll come in and complain about their arms and hands. Yeah. And it's like I'm always uh, empathetic towards therapists because I understand you know their issues and challenges. Do I need to kind of come off a little bit? But it don't, it don't have to be that way. Some of the issues clients come in for regularly that I only use. I have plantar fasciitis. I have carpal tunnel syndrome. I have thoracic outlet syndrome. I have pure, well, they say I have sciatica. I'm like, I'm like give me one session. And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, I have a relative degree of certainty based on the information that you have provided. That's a good thing. Get okay. the bulk of it done today. And then you do the one session, and then when you can produce that level, they're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> each other yeah. And it makes for good reviews. So when the person is face down, I think even more. Verbal communication. Can't see like, the face. Um, yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit. Just ask for yes. feedback. Mm -hmm. How's that there? Thank you. 
My calves are particularly tight, and I think it's because when I'm doing that work, my favorite yeah. is yeah. yeah. my arms. Yeah. And I use my feet a lot to so push on yeah. stuff. So my feel calves good too. have like developed in some of my forearms. Yeah, right there. That feels really good. I like it. structures that lead to whatever postural stuff they've got, right? Yeah. Whatever tightness they feel. Ooh, I already feel that. Uh-oh. What am I doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Be nice. I learned very quickly it's easy for me to use uh, too much pressure. Oh, yeah. Just could you feel a little more if you're able to? I spend more time backing off. Up or down? Yeah, that feels good there. Oh, I didn't know my shins were sore. <laughs> Is that your knee? Uh, let's go. No, it's oh, you're Sarah Yamada came in and was having problems with her ankle. The I probably spent like an hour yeah. just working on the low leg. Yeah, more pressure. One hour. Okay, so it's it's like, like, uh, yeah, right All the time. Yeah, That's why I kept making the sessions long. Okay, I felt like I was yeah. getting better out of my knees. And once I finally hit my own studio, I can make it make it up. And it's following anybody else's rules. And extending it, people were like, it's impossible. You can't do three-hour sessions on people. The massage therapists, they'll argue with me on forms. That's not oh, safe. Yeah. That is not uh, safe. That is too much tissue work. And I go, come get a session. Because they think it's all. Yeah. 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 If I took an elbow, I said, you got a little back. <laughs> three hours, how did you think you'd feel? Oh, like I'd be hurting. Oh. <laughs> but it's like the parameters are different. The parameters are different. Oh, oh. Right up. Just, just go more. Tons of comments yeah. over here. What's going on? Okay. Hey, iHarder821, that's really, really great information. Thank you for letting me know that. Really? Hey, thank you so much for the feedback. I really kind of specialize in teaching Thai massage to Westerners and dealing with the cultural context. We still deliver really great body work, but we deliver in a way that I think it's a little bit easier for American consumers to pick up and use. I really appreciate the feedback. Thank you so much.
Which one? This one? That was a good no. release, too. This one? Just do it. You guys pick it up really fast. Uh, in recent years, I've noticed that classes have changed. When I first started, I felt like the students were just like, dude, what the hell is this? This is crazy. And over time, it's gotten easier because I think the students have either had a little time massage, had somebody who's taking the class, they've worked with people who were doing it. So it's gotten a little bit easier to pass along information. Maybe they just come in with an open mind, like you said. Yeah, that was feels good. You should probably pull my toes forward more too. Yeah, it feels really good. But it does. So you should feel not this kind. Did anybody else get that flush?
You can leave your tables totally yes, fine with that. I may um, have you stack the tables like over the side of her so we can walk inside. They do that all the time. Drink some water, take it easy. Might want to keep a little whiskey. Oh, right there. I'm seeing in class. Oh, my gosh, right there. So what I did initially oh, okay. was okay. Yeah, I took yeah, this out, right. mm -hmm. and I would use my own body as the part. So I would come in kind of like this, and I have to kind of stack myself just so to be able to. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it feels. Because now I get like a little gluteal stretch, almost like half pigeon. How's the pressure right there? Yeah, I think it's a little rough. How do you feel? All right. Let's go. I'm going to do it with the knees. I'm going to do it on the side. If you want to pull down towards the foot. So here, we're going to keep that there. That's medial. Medial. Down towards the foot? Okay. Right here? It is a little bit more painful, but it feels great. There we go. I could t turn it around. It depends on how comfortable you feel. I just don't want to, like with you, I kind of lift your legs. Right. Yeah. I don't want to hyperextend them, like and I want to be able to like, stack them in a way that feels good. Yeah, more than that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, again, thanks so much for the, the kind words. It's really nice to know. Um, I'm probably going to take the bulk of this recording and probably float it on YouTube later. Um, I'm going to have to portion it into pieces to float it out. But I wanted to ta try Twitch streaming and see what kind of response we got. Um, I don't know. It just seemed like a nice platform. I wanted to go out with a bang, so to speak, and uh, see what Twitch was all about. But thank you so much for the comment. Towards the inside or the outside? So massage therapists will get tired. And they'll ask about the time you size jam and say, man, I do I work all day on Thursday. I'm tired. And I'm like, so come and have people work on you. And they go, What? I'm like, dude, like you could you could literally walk in the time massage jam, talk to eight people and go, listen, will each of you take twenty minutes and work on me? I can't get to you tonight, I'm exhausted. And you can get like three hours of work. <laughs> That's true. That's and I'm there just kind of carrying on, telling jokes, whatever. But it allows an open forum where there's education, oh, right social, so we'll up the cap, you know, down the cap. We're discussing things, you know, uh, common events, whatever, having a good time, working on each I other, I education, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, no, I gotta get it. Better ask you questions. It's okay. I didn't realize it hurt. I was like, when did you do it? It's like when you try to direct people to move their body in certain ways and it just goes <laughs> terrible. Like, no, 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 let's try yeah. something else. Just stop. <laughs> I've tried like five different things in the same session. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's right good. there. Right there? Yeah. Is the pressure good? Yeah, it is. A little more. Sure, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. This is really easy, okay. too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had to think about this recently. I don't think she covered more than like a half a day of actual TV. I think she taught it to me all in the mat. And then like once you understood here. it on the mat, so that was actually it was much easy to improvise on a table. Feels so good. Yeah. Good. Is it deep? Yeah. Is that deep? But yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. 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 decided yeah. to teach more here. table work, even though I'm a dedicated <laughs> mat practitioner, because you need to be able to use the transition. Most of what's in that table type work represents what I created. Like Frankenstein's in my like practice at a chiropractic office. Good. Because good. I had to figure out how to work on people effectively and quickly in 30 minutes of an hour and get them out of pain. Yeah. Uh, 
You think uh, towards the inside? Yeah. Like or towards the middle? Maybe probably be better this way. Now, let's say you work on someone and their calves are so tight that you literally cannot <laughs> press that way. Who said, ooh, ooh, just now? No. Now do it over that. How's that? And you point your toe in direction? Sure. Still feel the pressure. Was it too sharp before? No. <laughs> Were you the one that made sound? No. The way? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So yeah. I, I, I can't yeah. see where your face is. It was hurt. Oh, okay. okay. So we're going to do it to her. Uh, and then relax. One more time. Now do it. That's good. Oh. Still, still feel pressure. Yeah, I still feel pressure. It feels like not thumbs. as sharp. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not. Does it really damn things? If you got a pointy, pointy elbow. Like a good pressure, though? Yeah. The towel covers the person even more. Yeah. They can still feel pressure. You're still accessing stuff like if the work I'm doing here good? over a shirt less effective than if I was on here. Feels skin. good. No. Okay. No. Uh, pressure good. How's that? Uh, that's good. Pressure. Okay. That's okay. good. I like that. Yeah. How's that? That's good. I'm not doing absolutely nothing no, at this, this point. More pressure. Yeah. More pressure. Yeah. yeah. More pressure. yeah. 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 Is that a little better? Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, just let us know. If I catch it later, um, for some reason don't answer immediately, I'll just try to respond uh, a little bit later as I can. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be here again tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you're interested in our subscription service, we have 200 hours of my educational materials available, including currently a free carpal tunnel class. That's a six CE credits with the NCB TMB. You can access that at rgwellness.teachable.com. Again, that's rgwellness.teachable.com. Feels like it wants to explode. <laughs> <laughs> it that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. So how'd you feel though? That was good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when I do a three-hour, if somebody comes in and they say I have frozen shoulder, mm -hmm. it means I have an hour and a half to two hours to really work through muscles around the rotator cuff and stuff related. And I've still got another hour, hour and a half to be able to loosen their legs, their glutes, their low back. I just found that I was getting what I consider better clinical results by doing a longer session. What it did was it allowed me to charge a premium for a service. And people had one of two issues. They either had chronic pain or they had money to spend. And I was happy to give them an hour to get rid of it. Make sense? It also started to differentiate what I did for massage. Occasionally, I'll still get a, a phone call. I want to come get a massage with you. And I go, where did you find me? And they say, Yelp. You have all these Yelp reviews that sound really good. And I go, do you have any pain? They say, no, I just want a massage. And I go, oh, okay, um, I'm kind of like the deep end the pool. <laughs> like, why don't we find you another massage therapist that do like a little more standard, sort of like Swedish deep tissue. And then if you still have interest, you can, you know, come see me. That's a little bit more how my practice has flowed, but I still see enough clients where I'm not like overly concerned about it. Does that make sense? <coughs> they doing okay? But yeah. it, it signals something different. What I want you to do, where do you live? Jacksboro. Jacksboro? Mm -hmm. Actually, Twin Senate and Bryceville. Okay. Have you heard of those? Towns? No. But, but I want you to become the rock star of your uh, area. Yeah. I want you to gain so much popularity amongst your clients that other massage therapists don't like you. Yes. <laughs> and what do you say? Yes. I'm going to do it in Bernie. <laughs> now, why do therapists get mad at other therapists? But I like it. Right? Okay. They're my friends. Yeah. 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 I feel that like pressure on my shirt. You're taking their clients. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah. Taking, yeah. you're yeah. taking their clients. Yeah. Oof. Yeah.
Now, here's what a business guy told me years ago. He said, don't teach this. Absolutely do not teach this. He was an MBA. He was in school. I was like, going to this guy, oh, wow, I'm a massage therapist. I'm trying to build, you know. I was thinking about teaching. He's like, absolutely, no, don't do that. That's really Is that a little bad. better on the show? I was like, why? So, yeah, your, your students are going to take your clients. Yeah. There's enough people yeah. around. We're all over the place. It's like the weirdest. Well, was the, weirdest. Well, well, the challenge some was point, people didn't know what type of such was. And bring your yeah. If I teach some to you, and you start using it, and you get good benefit, and you yeah, want to keep working it, or you add time massage to your menu, more people know what it is. Because I can't work on everybody. Yeah. Do that one more time. I feel like I want to do the side now. Really? I need it right here. Okay. Your yeah. coronials? Yeah. Right? Yeah. The other one? No, no, no. I feel it like I'm both on the side. And then relax the foot.
so the people who don't live in Austin want to travel to it. And the people who live in Austin are like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one, day, one day we'll reach Topo Chico status. And we'll Topo Chico. No, I really want to move to you, you, just, you don't, you don't put anything under it. You just print your leg for it. Yeah, so what, what you start to do is like if you go from here to like lifting up, it's going to lift her shin. Uh, Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just going to slightly change your position. You want to make sure to feel comfortable when you do it. But yeah, see how it changes the angle? Yeah, I got you. Okay. It's a combination of making them feel comfortable and you feel comfortable. If you can't do both, you've got to tweak it and change it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If I don't catch it right now, I can uh, catch it a bit later and answer, I think, after the fact in the chat. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we have a subscription service. With right now, we're offering free CE credit for a carpal tunnel class. You can go to rgwellness.teachable.com. Again, that's rgwellness.teachable.com and get on that free C class. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's really a pleasure to uh, have you. Oh, man. I haven't watched your videos. I haven't watched your videos. I'm going to up for me real quick and drop them down. <laughs> so the, the adjunct to the, the subscription service is we have a private Facebook group. In the private Facebook group, you can ask me questions. When you ask a good question, I do a Facebook Live and answer it. Okay. Sometimes with a model. And I go, oh, hey, did you talk about the perennials? Here you go. Awesome. Make sense? What's that? Ongoing, online. I tell people we're the cutting edge of online massage education. Is this like an entrepreneur page? Or so, I mean, I advertise stuff from there. But massage entrepreneurs is just like a group where I don't give people business advice along with a bunch of yeah. other folks. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, so massage entrepreneurs isn't just so much me. Mm -hmm. It's like a yeah. group of folks where I'm included. The, the, mm -hmm. the Reboot Insiders Club is people who have subscribed mm -hmm. okay. and I give you specific access where if you come in and ask me cool. a question, I'm like, okay, you pay yeah. me seven bucks here. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Wow. But it makes it I'm a little more available. Can you feel that? Um, I think one of the best things we did was the private Facebook group because it allows you like ongoing yeah, platform to ask questions and also that see other okay? students' yeah, successes. Yeah, it's like you're like pushing. Oh, close them up, right? Pointy, pointy. Pointy, Are we closing these or did you want us to just leave them open off to the side? I think you can leave them open. Are we done? Oh, 
we're right at uh, 4.56. Again, I will make lunch uh, for you guys tomorrow. If you do not eat my food, I do not feel bad about it. If you don't like curry, then set will with you. Whatever. Oh, I love curry. I love curry. Or if you go for lunch or whatever. Fresh so fun. Awesome. But yeah, we'll just take the tables and kind of stack them up along the wall. Just create a little space. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow.